Hello, I'm Tanya. I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM. The first thing to do is to determine which is the right RAM for your computer, which is the RAM that's going to be compatible. Fortunately, there's a software program that will do this for you, um, and I'll show you how to do that now. The Crucial website has a special system scanner tool that will scan your system and work out what kind of RAM upgrade is compatible with your computer. Um, so here's the, here's the screen. Just click on Scan My System. If you're using Firefox, you'll have to make a small download and, and use the local file um, to, to run the scanner, but that's not really a problem. Um, so once you've done that, you get this screen and you have these several options of various upgrades that you can do and it shows you how much they cost as well. Um, so take into account how much memory your system can support. If you've got a 32-bit operating system, whether it's XP or Vista, um, you shouldn't bother with more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so just, just take a look at those those different options. With some of them, you can see that you're keeping your old RAM, and with others, you can see that you're taking out your old RAM and installing the, the new ones um, and replacing them. Um, so so just click on on the one that works out best for you. In this case, it's the the three gigabyte option. Um, and then when you worked that, when you've decided which one to use, just click on Add to Basket, and then you can buy it directly from Crucial. Okay, so hopefully now you've you've got your RAM in the post in a in little packs like this. Um, I'm going to show you first of all how to insert some DDR RAM. That's one type of RAM, um, and I've got a motherboard out of the computer, so it's so it's easy for you to see. Um, so here it is. This is DDR RAM, um, and it looks the DDR and DDR2 look really similar. They're two different types of RAM, but you will find that um, DDR2 will not go in a DDR slot and vice versa um, because there's this notch in the center. So here's some DDR RAM and there's this little notch and when you put it in you have to make sure that the long side goes with the long part on the slot and the short side goes with the short part and that that notch is in the right place. So with some RAM upgrades you'll be removing and discarding your existing RAM. So I'll show you how to get it out. Pull down these little white clips like that and then it just lifts out, it pops and lifts out. Now you'll see here that there are two pairs of slots. Each pair is a different colour. You must always ensure that identical RAM sticks go in slots of one colour. Ne never put a different RAM stick in, in slots of one colour. Um, so I'll show you how to insert DDR RAM. You look for the notch in the middle here. You look for this notch and there's a, there's a long part and a short part, so you just make sure that it's the right way around, that the short part goes on the short part on the slot, and that the notch is aligned. So you just put it on like that, and then you press, and you sometimes have to press quite hard, just push down, and these little clips slide into place. So that's, that's the DDR one. Now, the, one, the RAM that I've bought is DDR2, looks really similar. When you hold it, try not to touch the gold contacts, move these cables out of the way um, and then you can see here that the the yellow memory channel is in use and the blue one's not so we're going to add some RAM to the blue the blue slots same technique again push down these switches um, and then as with the DDR same thing with the DDR2 just line up the notch make sure you've got the long part over the long part slip it in and then just push down and those clips snap into place. So that's it. That's all you need to do in terms of hardware. Just put your computer back together. And then when you restart your, your PC, your system will notice automatically that the amount of memory has changed. And it will give you some prompts. Um, really just click OK. There's, there's nothing to set up. And that's it. You've upgraded your RAM.